Hello everyone, today is a get ready with me. Today I am getting ready for my day, my day off. It's going to be a productive day for me as I have a lot of things to do. I have a lot of content to shoot. I have collaboration photos to shoot for brands. I'm going to take you guys along with me today and going to do my makeup and also put on some perfume from Dossier that I am absolutely obsessed with. So let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to put a little makeup on. Today I'm just going to keep my hair natural because I haven't shot with my natural hair in a while. I'm going in with some primer. I already washed my face this morning, answered some emails and everything. On my days off, they have to be productive, but I've been learning to balance, you know, my social life and my content creating because that is important. Today, I think after I shoot my content, I'm going to go to Zara just because, you know, I did a poll on my Instagram and the people want to see a Zara haul and an Amazon haul. So I plan on doing that for you guys very soon. So, I am going to go look at Zara today, see what they got. If I see anything that they that I like, I'm going to purchase it and, of course, show you guys what I get. So, right now I'm going in with the Glow Screen Super Goop. I love this. The one thing about it is you need to make sure you wash your face after, like, the end of the night. So yesterday I forgot to, and I have a zit here now, which I never do. Like, no offense, like, I'm grateful I don't really break out that much, but sunscreen clogs your pores, so it's usually the summertime I'll get little zits just from sunscreen, and that's definitely from sunscreen on my face and not taking it off. I'm really good about um, my morning skincare routine and my nighttime. Just because it's so important to take care of your skin. But I really do love this. It looks beautiful on the skin. It just gives you a natural finish and it's glowy. It's beautiful. And I love a nice glowy look. And I don't really need like a bunch of coverage, especially in the summer. But of course, I'm going to cover that zit up with some concealer because <laughs> that does not look good. Cover that. I can't believe it is August. We are in August. Like, where has the time gone? Like, I literally can't get over it. So crazy to me. I have a lot of good things planned for the upcoming months with content. One thing that I need to work on is not over like, I don't know, planning my life, I guess. Like part of me is I fit too much into my schedule. And my mom even said that to me recently and so did Sean, my boyfriend. You know, I'm trying to balance so much but sometimes it's so important to just take a step back and, you know, remind yourself, like, be easy on yourself. Like, life is not perfect. You're not perfect. That's one thing I, I need to work on is, you know, staying present, not getting so wrapped up about what I can do next or what I can be more productive about. Which It's good to be productive, but... Sometimes it's good to just stay present and take it easy on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Also, that was the e.l.f. concealer I went in with. I've been using this for a while now, and I just love the way that it finishes on the skin. And now I'm going to go in with some bronzer and liquid blush, you know, keeping it super simple. Nothing crazy. The one thing that I realized this past month that I needed to fix for myself and do differently was, you know not cramming as much and being willing to sacrifice you know things so for example like say you know people are going out at night and i'm coming in from work and i've worked the next morning 
I'm someone who likes to go to bed early. I like to get up early. And sometimes it's good to go out, obviously, but sometimes I'll try to cram too much in and then I am exhausted, cranky, emotional <laughs> because I'm so overtired. So, you know, listening to your body is so important. The past couple, this past week, I've kind of, you know, have been being better about, you know, saying, oh, you know, I can't go to that. Or, you know, today, like making time to do my content and stuff like that. So I think it's important to, you know, make time for yourself and not put too much pressure on you because, listen, it's easy to do that. Like, you know, you need to just appreciate where you are now. And that's something that I'm working on. It's not easy. Like, I want to get to where I want to be, you know? And that all comes with time. And that is okay. And you just got to trust the process. It's getting deep, guys. I'm, you know, wow. You know, I like these videos because I can talk to you about, you know, what's going on with me, like, Life isn't perfect. We all got things we're going through, you know, and we're all learning through it. But back to the makeup, I want to show you guys this product. This is the Givenchy Liquid Blush. I've been obsessed with this lately. It gives just such a beautiful, like, rosy cheek look. It's like a light pink. It's in the shade 50, I think. Super cute. I love it. I if the lighting's changing. I'm using natural light right now. Here, I'll move you guys over here. See, it just gives such a nice little sun-kissed look. Oh, by the way, I actually got my eyebrows laminated um, last week or the week before. And guys, I am obsessed. I'll put a photo here of what it looked like after I got it done. As you can see, look, I brush them up. It's like a perm they did for my eyebrows. It's sick. It's like, I mean, it was a little expensive, but it was so worth it. Like, I don't put anything, like, gel on my eyebrows anymore. This is just, um, she gave me this oil and this little brush. I'm supposed to put it on every day. Do you see? Look at that eyebrow. So pretty. This one I'm not obsessed with, this eyebrow. See how crazy it is? I think I'm, I don't know. It's just very crazy. I really like that full eyebrow look. That eyebrow's my favorite, but we're gonna just push her down a little bit. So now I like, I barely color them in because my eyebrows are dark as it is. Ilia Mascara, for those of you who know me, this is my ride or die mascara. They actually just came out with a volumizing one and I've been wanting to try that. I have to concentrate. Also, I'm gonna put concealer there. That's a broken capillary and I need to get that lasered off. I used to have one um, on my nose, like something like that. And I guess that just happens sometimes to people, like they, um, I don't know what a broken capillary is, but let me know if you do, cause I don't. But it happens sometimes and it's it's nothing, it's not anything bad. But you can get it lasered off. Because no offense, I don't like that red dot there. It's just like, what are you doing there, you know? But, shout out to concealer for making it not as red. Love my nails, right? <laughs> not to be like, oh my god, my nails are so cute. But, I, at work, I have to wear my nails, you know, neutral. So, you know me, if you know me, I love funky nails and I like doing a little pop of color here and there and listen, I'm like, this is neutral, but I want hearts. Like, how cute, can you see? So cute. Literally, I've gotten so many compliments at work. I have been loving the juice infused lip oil from Ulta. I leave it in my purse at work, you know, even when I go out, I just think it's such a beautiful gloss and it's hydrating your lips. How 
How cute! How cute, right? I also occasionally will go in with the Carolina Cosmetics Luminizer Pot. My friend, this is her company and she's awesome. Her stuff is cruelty free and, you know, beautiful line. I will definitely do a video on her stuff. I have a few favorite products from what she gave me and I literally am obsessed. But this is just a nice little natural highlighter. You know, nothing too crazy. It gives you a nice little glow. The makeup look is done. Super natural, like I don't need to do a full face for photo shoots, you know. My photo shoots are mostly focused on the outfits that I'm wearing. Now I have two perfumes to show you guys. One I will be wearing today when I go shoot. You know, smelling good is important. It's important to me. I have a collection of perfumes and Dossier has been a brand that I love. And I wanna show you two perfumes from them that I haven't shown you yet. The first one is Floral Yang Yang. Floral y Yalan Yalan. That, not Yang Yang. Floral Yalan Yalan. I didn't know how to say it to be honest. This perfume, the Floral Yalan. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how to say it, but it's fine. It is inspired by the Chanel Gabriella perfume. Oh my gosh. Listen, my friend actually has this perfume, and I used it at her house when I went to visit her in New York City. And I remember it being just such a classy and flirty smell. The one that I'm going to be wearing with my outfits today is this one, the Gabriella inspired one from Chanel. Literally, Dossier perfumes are so iconic, and they are inspired by luxury perfumes. This one is just such a classy smell. The top notes are lily, grapefruit, blackberry, uh, jasmine. There's a bunch of different stuff mixed in that creates this smell that's very similar to the Chanel Gabriella. I really love this one. It's definitely one that I could see myself wearing every day. It's like an everyday smell. I think it's a mature smell, if that makes sense. Like, it's not... Like, obviously, I'm a young girl, but I don't see, like, a high schooler wearing this. Like, this is a smell for 20 and older. Like, I think this is, like, if you're moving into a smell that's a little bit more mature. And, wow. I just love... I love this. This one's really good. I think I'm going to start using this as my everyday perfume. The Oriental Cherry, inspired by the Tom Ford Lost Cherry Perfume. And I have seen that that is a very popular perfume by Tom Ford. I've, I've seen TikToks on it. I've seen, you know, reviews that people love this Tom Ford perfume. So, obviously, I wanted to try a dupe for it. So... I'm going to spray it here and describe it to you guys, what I think it smells like and my personal thoughts on it. If you like cherries, 100%, this perfume's for you. Okay, the cherry kind of goes away after a while. This is a nice perfume for... I think going out, uh, I think that's something that I would wear going out. You know, it's a very flirty perfume. It's like, I'm sweet, I'm cute, you know what I'm saying? Also, I do have a discount code for you guys if you would like to go and buy yourself some Dossier perfume. I'm obsessed. It smells so luxurious for an affordable price. And, you know, that's important. You don't need to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars to smell good or look good like there's always ways around that are you know more affordable and you can still be luxurious i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video with me i'll see you next time